wholeness and balanced vibrations and welcome to this week's videos reality transurfing teachings and meditations and before I start on today's teaching I'd like you to subscribe to my channel and invite family and friends to also subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're notified on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays if you have a look at the description below, you'll see a lot of treats such as claiming your free energized painting. You can also book a free discovery call with me for coaching. And there are also some breath work and energy transmissions on the link tree, as well as my new online course, which is at half price at the moment. So as I start on this week's uh, merging of consciousness and reality transurfing teachings I'd just like to reiterate about what we spoke about last week that how we are being directed by an external script and how easily it is to fall into that script that's woven into a motion picture in which you are now one of the characters and so often we can't call our soul our own soul because our attention is not our own. It's either in the inner screen or the outer screen. And we can only call our soul our own when we're at the center point, the zero point, the central screen. And how the other characters in this play are usually sleeping. But when you see yourself and you see your reality, you can then conscious, consciously control your will if you haven't been doing that before now. And this is really the first step into self-mastery and mastering your reality and creating from the existence that's always existed. And this is when we learn to wake up in the dream. And we can ask ourselves, well, who am I? Who am I being right now? Who, what is self? And the only difference is that a normal film is shot by normal people where the film roles of the dreams are stored in the Eternity Archive, which has always been there, they always will be, for as long as this universe exists. And we know that all living people do have a soul, they do have a will, they do have self-perception. And they can say, I am myself, although that is all that they can say about themselves. Living people are aware of themselves, but their self-awareness, as we've seen so far, is asleep. And their will is hardly ever used when they need to mobilize themselves to take some kind of an action. And what's more, the will is used only within the context of the current frame of reality that they're existing in. But we'll talk about this later on in these teachings. And so in your usual state of consciousness, your characters in your film, if your attention is not your own, it means you're not fully owning your soul or your soul is not your own. You are then easily directed by an external script which wires you into the film. And we use these terms so that it will be more accessible for you because in your sleeping, and your waking life, you actually do the same thing. You watch the film and then you take part in a particular character with a particular set role without the right to spontaneous behavior. If you still doubt that your actions are bound rather than autonomous, Look at your attention. Where is your attention being placed? Where was it just now, even when you were listening to me? To whom did this particular attention belong? 
Not to you, you see. Your mind must have been drifting somewhere else. So if it didn't belong to you, to whom and for what did your attention belong? And to the very same script, you, or rather yourself, is your attention. If you do not control yourself, and this script simply directs you. If you don't control yourself, whether you're sleeping or in your waking life, and it's the same either way. The dream is the same as reality, and reality is the same as the dream. Let's say that life is a waking dream and an ordinary dream is a sleeping dream. You see, dreams can be conscious or non-conscious. In the unconscious dream, you're pretty much helpless. But take control of your attention and you become alive in the film, acquiring the ability to act with will, just as you see fit. This is when you become responsible. That means the ability to respond. And this character can now freely roam around in the dream. You have already tried it in waking life and with time you will learn to do the same in your sleep. This is called lucid dreaming. However, it's much more important to have this ability in waking life because then, even though the film of sleep has a real film role in the Eternity Archive, it is still virtual. Life, on the other hand, is real. In life, you can either helplessly kick your legs about in somebody else's script or take control and implement your own. You see, what's often stopping us from doing this is this habit of falling into either the inner screen or the outer screen. And this is when our attention will not stay long in that center point, that center of awareness. And that's quite normal for most human beings. But what can you do? You need to develop a new habit. The new habit of constantly returning your attention to the center screen. So when we set out for a, a walk through our dream, tell yourself that you won't forget and that you must wake up. Literally set yourself this goal, otherwise it will completely continue to slip your mind that you're meant to be focusing on something. And if you're forgetful or lazy, you won't learn a thing. And so whilst going on your walk, you'll need to catch yourself as you constantly drift off center point. Don't worry, keep practicing, but do not give up. Just keep bringing your attention back over and over again and arrange your track of attention with your attention itself. I see myself. I see my reality, which is your true self. And so there is no need to try and hold your attention at the center all the time without taking a break. The meaning of this particular exercise is your ability to respond to what is happening. Can you bring yourself back to your state of being within this center point 
regardless of the circumstances that are happening in your internal thoughts or your external reality. And usually any event, even the most inconsequential, will draw you into the outer film or the inner concerns of the film. But whatever the situation, that is what keeps you asleep. So wake up. Now, you need to develop the reverse habit. And the reverse habit is not to fall asleep, but to simply wake up. And at any event, even the slightest whiff of your environment should put you on guard. Take it as a signal to wake up. Likewise, any action you, you take should remind you that you need to check your focus of attention. You have two triggers for this. Number one, the outer. As soon as something happens, you wake up. Number two, the inner. Before you do something, you wake up. And so you're consciously aware of that midpoint, that zero point, that bindu point. Examples of the external triggers are you might meet with someone, somebody asked you something, something happened to somebody who's close to you. It doesn't really matter. Some kind of sound or movement or something you got attracted to. But as soon as that thing happens, focus your attention on it, but do not lose control of your attention. Bring it back to the center. The center point of being the detached observer watching his film script. An example of this inner trigger is you could be getting ready to go somewhere or to talk to someone and before you take the action at all, bring your attention to the center specifically before because afterwards it will be too late because you would have already spoken and you'll simply discover that that will make you fall asleep again. So then wake up to remember that you were asleep. Now all of this does take practice like exercising any muscle and it can be learned through frequent repetition just like they do in things like martial arts. They keep on repeating a movement until it becomes you. There simply is no easy way around this. However, on the other hand, when you do start to learn to control the focus of your attention, you will be able to control your, pif your little life that you have. And then perhaps your life will stop taking control of you. You see, when you've woken up in a dream and become awake and aware, you acquire a strength, a strength particularly compared to those people around you who are still asleep. Now, don't get egotistical about it and think that this is a huge advantage and makes you superior to those around you. No, humility is key. So do not go around and treat others with arrogance or condescension thinking, oh, they're still asleep and I'm so awake and I need to be around more woke people. No, because that ego will take you right back down again. Have humility. Ask yourself, am I awake? Am I aware? I see myself. I see my reality. And that is who I am. Wholeness and balanced vibrations.